Hi, everybody. Oh, Jesus, hold on. <coughs> Let me tell y'all the story. But first, I'm going to say, hello, everyone. This is Bernie, so it's simply her. And, yes, I got on my son's shirt today. Uh, this is me. Hospital. So, the story is, I went to, oh, this was Thursday. Last Thursday. I was fine. I started coughing. I didn't understand why I was coughing. I just started coughing. So I'm like, oh, I must be coming down with a cold. So then Friday came. And I'm like, oh. Something ain't right. It don't feel right. I don't feel right. So we ended. I ended up laying on the couch where I'm at now. I've been here since Thursday on this couch. Literally coughing and hacking and so much phlegm and just gross. Oh, it was just gross. Hot, cold, hot, cold. And this went on Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So, I'm, I really don't know what just happened to the video. But anyway, I'm bringing y'all up to yesterday so yesterday i'm coughing hacking and when i say coughing and hacking i literally went through a box and a half of tissues and each box got over 200 sheets in it so last night i was like okay so i'm gonna sleep on the couch i don't want my husband to get sick you know, he's older than me. I don't want him to get sick. I don't want us to, you know, I don't know if I got the COVID. I don't, I don't know what it is. Well, God is good all the time. I forgot we had COVID tests in the kitchen. So I went in the kitchen and grabbed one of the new COVID tests and did my COVID test and it said negative. I said, oh, well, thank you, Jesus. I don't got to worry about giving this to my husband. And everything is right. I made me some popcorn. <laughs> so, um, I'm like, this is good. I won't be, you know, spreading germs around the house and getting my husband sick. So then, I went to sleep last night. And about 3 a.m., I just, <laughs> what is wrong? And when I say coughing and, 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 and phlegm and coughing and phlegm and coughing to the point that up under my boobies, I ain't got no bra on y'all, but up under my boob, up under my boobies and my chest, it just like hurt all around here, all the way across, all the way across and then on this side. And so, I woke up because I couldn't breathe. I'm like, <laughs> y'all can, <coughs> can probably still hear me wheezing now. But literally sick. Hot flashes, cold flashes, can't breathe. Do it, do, using my nebulizer, using my CPAP. Got the um, the vaporizer on, just like... All I can say is when your ear is being cut off, you don't give a dang about no smoking nothing. And I smoke cigarettes, so I need to stop. Well, guess what? This is my I'm going to stop. Because, <laughs> honey, let me tell you, when you can't breathe, don't nothing become important but that breath. You want that breath. You like, <laughs> <coughs> 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 
like Jesus help me. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. So anyway, I woke up about three times last night. My husband was sleeping in, in our bedroom and the other bedroom, which is our guest room, I made it into my she shirt shed. So the only bedrooms is in the basement and who going down there? Not me. But it's nice down in our basement. Don't get me wrong. We just had it redone and all of that. It's beautiful down there. It's just cold. I be cold easily and quickly. Okay. I don't play around with that. So this morning when I woke up, I'm having to... <coughs> when I woke up, um, I literally was like, oh, this is not right. I'm 8, 8.01, I think, or 8.02. I grabbed that nebulizer. I'm like, oh, let me put this medicine in it. I need the, the triple dose. I need to be able to breathe because I can't breathe. I can breathe like this. Now, if you listen real close, you can hear me wheeze. Let me see if I can. Well... It was, it was louder than that. It was like, <laughs> I was like, honey, I don't know what's going on. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. I don't know what it is. They said I didn't have a COVID. Why am I, why I can't breathe? I don't understand. All I got to say is that I woke up, I did that about 8.02 by 9.30 a.m. I'm going to say I was, I was still going through this hacking and trying to breathe and trying to get air in. And my chest hurt so bad up under my boobs, y'all. I don't even know. It was hurting so bad. Like, every time I go... <sighs> I would cough, but it would hurt so bad. And and I don't know if y'all have ever coughed for three days straight. It was the most distressing and disturbing thing that I had to experience. Because I'm like, why am I not? Why well, can't breathe? So then, this was about my thing. I was talking to my sister. I was talking to my daughter on the phone. And my sister was like, mm -mm, what's going on? Like, I don't know. I got a cold. <laughs> and so she was like, girl, you sure? It's just a cold. I'm like, yeah, it ain't COVID. I'm like, hell no. The, the test said no. Excuse my language. I'm like, the test said no. So then she was like, uh-uh, sister. You don't sound right. You don't look right. I'm like, okay, I'm going to call you. I'm going to get up and take my shower, and I'm going to call you back. That's what I said. Honey, I got up, went in the bathroom to take my shower. And we got a seat in our shower, in one of the showers. So, in our bedroom where we sleep, I'm like, oh, I got to take a shower. I'm hot. I'm sweaty. I'm stinking. I've been sweating for two and a half days. I like, I, I just need a bath. I feel like I just need a bath. Honey, I sat down in that shower and turned that shower on and it was warm. I was like, <laughs> coughing. <laughs> Coughing and 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 hyperventilating and can't stand steam. Felt like somebody was putting a, a, a plastic bag on my head. I was like, oh, oh. So my husband heard me, and he come walking towards the back, towards the bathroom. He was like, honey, honey. By the time he made it to the bathroom, to the shower, open the shower door, I fell out. <laughs> Fell, literally, out the shower. Bloom on the floor. Like it wasn't nobody's business. Literally. T 
toe up. Hit my forehead. Head already hurting. Chest already hurting. Can't breathe. F trying to figure out what the heck is going on. And so, he was like, baby, honey, honey. And so he held me up. I was like, hold on. One minute. Man. I don't know how I got off the floor to get all the way to the other side of the bathroom to the toilet, but I did it in lightning speed. Cause all of a sudden, honey, I start throwing up. Like, like, help. He was like, that's it. That's it. Get it out, get it out. Got some towels, some rags, wipe my face. Baby, I love you, come on. We going to the hospital. We going to the hospital right now. You are sick. You guys, we got to see what's going on. I'm like, okay, okay. I can, I can end up putting the bra on. My, uh, what I got on now, this is what I put on. Except I had a bra on. <laughs> My honey, I get there. I can't breathe. They like, ma'am, ma'am. They do the pulse ox. It don't even reach 90. It's like, I'm like... <laughs> help me. Help me, help me, help me. Man, they took me back. They put the machines on. Put the thing on my finger. To the, the, did the heart thing. Did it. My heart beat. Was like a hundred and I want to say it was like a hundred and seventy two beats per minute. Like it was fast. My heart was beating. My white blood cell count is up, so something is going on, right? My heart beating, the white blood cell count is up, the pulse ox ain't registering. I'm like they like calm down. They instantly put an IV in. Boom. Right there. That's what the IV was. Right in the main arm. You know they don't put the IV in. You're supposed to put the IV in the in the part that folds. But it was emergency. They went to pumping fluids. They went to talking, asking all these questions. What medications you on? What you doing? What you been doing? Okay. And then this black girl. This black girl walked in the dang old room. And she said, Hello, I'm Dr. Burkett. I'm going to be your doctor. I'm going to be your physician today. What's going on? I said, You look like you a baby. This girl was so young. She didn't never tell me how old she was. I kept asking. She wouldn't tell me. She looked it like a freaking supermodel and she's a doctor i said well look at god or any good you is the what you is <laughs> you are amazing honey she was like okay don't worry about it i'm gonna make sure you're okay make sure you're okay I'm, I'm 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 gonna look at everything we're gonna find out what's going on so let me tell y'all we did blood work it took about six tubes. We did um, uh, EKG on my heart. We uh, listened to my lungs. They put all that stuff on me trying to get the breath to come back. Because the breath was important. Y'all just don't know. The breath was really important. And so then they um, did some x-rays on my lungs and my heart. And then they... Um, they gave me some medicine for pain. I forget what it was called. Um, they gave me some steroids. Like a, a flood of steroids through this arm. And then they gave me... Um, they did a, a x-ray. And they did an ultrasound. Where they put the iodine in your vein. And then light up your lungs and your heart. They did that. So I had to go through the machine like this. Help. 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 
and I had to keep my hands back like this. But I was able to go through the process and do it. When I say my heart was beating so fast, they start watching me on the heart monitor. They wanted to know everything when it's going up, when it's coming down, when it's going up, when it's coming down, what it's doing, what's happening with you, what's are you breathing better? They gave me uh, treatments. The treatment that I got over there, the nebulizer, they came in with their nebulizer and hooked it up, put the mask on my face. You need two, at least two breathing treatments. We need to open up the airways, open up the airways. I'm like, okay, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. By the time I left out the hospital, I feel like I'm feeling now. And we only been home. We left it. We left it to go to the hospital about 1130. And we made it home about 17. That's how long we was there. When I say God is good all the time, God is good all the time. Guess what I ended up with, y'all? I have pneumonia in my left lung. My upper left lung, pneumonia. So now I got to take antibiotics for a good week and fluids and make sure I'm taking my breathing treatments and all of that. So I got to rest for a whole week. I just hope I feel better. I'm, I'm sure I will. I just know God is good all the time. And he don't put you through stuff you can't handle. He puts you only through the things that you can handle. So, I just wanted y'all to know what was going on. I'm okay. I'm coming back, doing all my YouTube and stuff. And my lip gloss and all of that. I'll be doing that. But for right now, I got to get well. Well, I hope y'all enjoy this last story time for September. Because I think that's the last one, pretty much. I don't think I'm going to do any more until next September. <laughs> Or I might decide to do some more later. But for right now, I love you guys. Thank you for loving me. Thank you for being patient with me. Thank you for supporting me. Thank you for being there for me in every way possible. And I just want to say I really appreciate y'all. I want y'all to leave me some comments and let me know what you think, what you think I should work on, what you think I should do. Because this is YouTube. I love YouTube, man. I love, I love YouTube. That's all I got. I don't like nothing else better. <laughs> I like Snapchat, but I love YouTube. And thanks to all my subscribers, all you guys. I love you guys. And have a blessed day. Keep me in your prayers. And always remember that breath, that breath that you breathe out your lungs, that's important. That's very important. Don't ever forget it. Because when you can't get it, that's when you're going to worry about wanting to get it. All right, guys. I love you all. Have a blessed day. Talk to you soon. Peace.